Greetings, mortals. I am Natas, one of the rulers of hell, or specifically, Manga Hell. And today we will be reacting to the newest chapter of the Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 335, A Sinister Endeavor. My apologies for the 300 miss um, sad. It, it's probably just referring to the other series I'm reviewing. So, yeah. Now, the first page we have is Aldolchamon and Percival looking in their kind of cute picture, honestly. So, yeah. Then, we, then the first proper page is Anne's reaction to seeing the Demon Clan. And she's like, I, I can't believe this. All the villagers were these repulsive monsters. Kind of funny how she uses the word repulsive of all things. Since, you know, you're, she's, since she's more like a tomboy and that's like more of a, you know, more like a fancy way of saying ugly. So, yeah. Anyways, then we have Anne and her horse start to run it as Anne's like, Nobody said anything about them being this big. You, get away from me. Again, kind of funny to have Anne saying stuff like this. And then we have Anne be like, I, I still have to become a holy knight, okay? I can't get eaten in a place like this. As some uh, whole... I'm not sure if these uh, demons are even, like, taking away of it. I think they're just like, what the heck? Uh, Alright, so what do you want to do? It's, just like, it's more like she's just passing by them and screaming while they're just, like, staring all over the place. And then we have Anne being like, ha, ha, ha. And she then starts screaming, Percival, Donnie, you guys better be alright. And then she's like, and, uh, what is Sin up to? <laughs> Which is true. Where is he right now? I mean, if it wasn't some knockout drop, like what was it that put but not Sin to sleep or whatever? And then uh, someone, well, most likely Percival screams to Anne, Anne! As then, uh, Anne is possible. Percival, where are you? Is Donnie okay? And then Donnie or Percival are like, behind you, Anne. Nasians is with us too. And then, uh, Anne looks behind her and she's like, oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> and she sees Dolchamon, who is currently holding Percival in one hand and Donnie and Nasi in the other hand. And the horse and Anne have basically like a One Piece reaction with their eyes are almost popping out of their skull. You know, like that, like, whoa! Moment. Because that's what they are seeing. And, they, and then we have Anne be like, wah! <laughs> like, we're childless. And again, is just me or is Anne like a lot, acting a lot younger than she did when we first got to meet her? Which I know it's been a while, but still, I feel like Anne's a lot more like a child now. And anyways, then Anne starts to practically, uh, you know, swing her rapier. And she's like, let, let, let go of them right now. If, if, if you eat them, I'll make you pay for it. And then we have Donnie and Nazi just be like, can't blame her. And Nazi's like, nope. Which is... Pretty accurate because like, alright, we are literally in the hands of a giant rat demon. I guess it makes somewhat sense why she would be so panicked. And then Percival in his ears and is like, Don't worry, Annie. Dolce Monte here is our friend. As his hands like, puts her so rapier down and she's like, sorry. Or she's still crying, like weaving. And then we see a picture, a panel with some of the demons talking amongst each other, with uh, some demons in the background, like I get trying to put the um, idol back together or something. And then we get a pe pe panel of uh, Anne and uh, her horse, like laying there, being like tired and like, what the fuck is going on here? As then. Uh, now just says, I'm sure you're surprised. I've never seen anyone like this either. And then I was like, yeah, despite appearances, they're really nice guys, but the big surprise of the day, which is reference to how they look, which is reference, yeah, the big hope, they weren't expecting this. So yeah, then we have a panel of Dolce Monte and uh, Percival talking, and we have, um, Percival talking demon language with also translating for Britannia language. 
as Don as Pastor says to Don Chamonte, I'm jealous of you. People keep calling me this little pipsqueak. And then we have, I'm be like, mm, why can he talk to them? Which is true. So that I'm curious if we're ever gonna get the explanation of it. Like I'm hoping they get an exp we get at the end of the arc an explanation from Elder or say why first of all is able to talk to them. And uh, yeah. Then we get about picture of the demons trying to fix the idol. And then we have Ambi like, why did we even come here then? Since you know, they thought they, that they were gonna that sin. Donnie and uh, Percival are in danger. Just so why are they so they came to say, but now it seems like they were on in danger at all. And then we have Nazi has been like, I suppose destroying that idol broke the spell that made them look human. And then we have um, the elder coming here, and he's like, Dad, and one more thing, as everyone takes a note of it, notes of him. It's like, it allowed the enemy to intrude upon us. I'm guessing that's what the destroying, yeah, he's referring to the destruction, so that means like the block from the enemy to enter it. And then we have them looking at it, and he's like even dying, a bit shocked that he's still humanoid. And then, not, uh, and it's like, who are you? And then we have uh, the Dolce Monte say something, his demon language, and then, first of all, response with the elder, he said. And then I was like, wait, he's the only human? So, oh, uh, we'll get into the Elder at the end of the chapter. Because there are some people theorizing on who the Elder is. And then we have Nazir speaking. I'm sorry, I think there's been some confusion. But we've not your enemy or anything. And the Elder looks at him and he's like, not you. They're humans who despise our village. So yeah, then we have someone approaching, and he's like, Stop right there, you monster mastermind! As Nazians and and take a note of him, they're like, That voice, is that you, Art? And then we have Donnie be like, Who are? Who is he? And then we have, uh, I'd be a bit confused, as Nazians talk, ask him, Why do you look like that? And they're like, So, you use these children to break our idol? Then, which it's kind of funny to see how there's not no real misunderstanding here. Like the was like, oh, I see. These you trick these children into coming here so they'll break the idol. Oh, what a scumbag you are! And then we get an like, a bit more of art. He's like, I am Art back, Holy Nine King offers service, and long have I waited for this moment. And then we see Anne Nazians. Uh, First of all, I'll be like, King offers holy knight? As I was like, prepare to die, I will take all of you out at once, fall members of the demon clan. And then we have Dotney, Nazians, and I'll be like, then the demon clan, these guys who plunked, plunked the old battalion to terror during the holy war? Kinda of weird how Donnie didn't know about how the demon clan looked like, considering the fact that, you know, his father or well, his uncle is a holy knight captain. I mean I get why Nazians and Anne wouldn't know it, as well as Percival, but I do find a weird how Donnie didn't know it. Like didn't like uh Hauser give a vague description of the grain rat demons, like, oh yeah, there are these rat demons who kinda of look like clowns with Rat, big rat fat clowns and gray demons with this like weird kind of sound looking mask and angel like wings and also really big. Like, was there no description like that from Hauser? And then we have Donnie look at Percival, he's like, Percival, did you know that? And then Percival's like, Yeah, Dolce Monte told me a minute ago. And then we have the elder saying, I will inform you that this village's demons fled the clan after refusing to fight in that war. And then Art looks at Beckenham and he's like, And what of it? Are they demons or are they not? What? That is what matters. No, much did all of us sacrifice in that holy war 16 years ago. 
Now, I will talk a little bit about um, art. From what we've seen of art in this chapter, it's like he's one of those people who hates, at the very least, the demon clan with a passion. It's unclear about the other races. But anyways, hates the demon clan, but when it comes to literally everything else, he seems to be rather nice and chill. Like, my theory about him saying stuff that uh, is true, but it's just actually false, but it's actually true to that person, is actually pretty... The uh, is actually, it seems to be more or less accurate, especially what he says to Percival later. Before he finds out he's a full nine of the apocalypse, but yeah. So, that seems to be kind of what's going on here. Now, one more thing. One of you commented report, I believe his name was uh, Artificial Anime Universe. My apologies if I butchered that. He said that he thinks that art might work for Death Pierce, which might be the case. I could see, like, Death Pierce recruit art back. And then Death Pier is getting recruited by Arthur, since, you know, their, their desires kinda aligned. So I could see, like, this first batch of Holy Knights be, like, um, Death Pierce as Holy Knights. It's just they not work for Arthur because he's more logical. Or the very least, like, they'll go into Death Pierce's country after they finish their task that offer promise or something like that. So yeah, anyways, then we have Artback going to his clock to pull something out and he's like, you will know very soon. And then the other is like, that. And then we see a crystal, uh, a relic that's like a bunch of crystals put, the put together. And then Art puts it up as he starts to um, set in use some kind of magic or such to enchant things. He's like, Lord Chom Bask, Mel Sid, Mitech Toma. And then we see like uh, all of, a bunch of rare and gray demons being like absorbed as well as Dolchemon with Percival being in there and being pushed towards it. And then instantly we see the entire older demon in the village being swept disappear into that relic. Like, they're, it, it's completely gone. Like, uh, uh, immediately. And then we have uh, the gang's reaction to it, and I was like, what, what happened? And I was like, that crystal it up! And all, now, and now all the demons are gone! As Dyson in shock, as in Artback is sad, explains to us what this relic is. This is the Amber of the Four Archangels, a demon clan sealing tool. It can seal many dozens, more than standard Goddess Ember. So yeah, this is what happened, that's what the, this item is. Now I'm not sure if this item was actually in the Saturday Sins manga, I don't think it was, or if it was, it was like, uh, probably just like mentioned in a chapter or so. Well not in a chapter, like mentioned in a panel too, but yeah. So that's the, the what this is. Kind of gives me the Overlord vibes, if I'm being totally honest. But yeah. Anyways, then we have Percival right next to um, Artbacks, and he kind of got like he got sucked because he was in Dolchemon's arms, so he got sucked into the crystal. But he didn't because he's not a demon. He just fell like he just kind of fell onto the ground, and he's like, oh, oh. And then Artbag's like, oh! And then Pesos like, huh? Wait, where's Dolce Monte? Nothing. And Artbag's like, nothing to fear, little one. The demon who nearly crushed you to death is inside this crystal. And then Artbag's like, hmm. So, like I said, it seems like Artbag is nice to Percival. It's just now that he realizes that he's a full knight of the apocalypse, is where he starts to get be evil to him. So, kind of an interesting thing where it seems like we're going to go with the, some of um, Arthur's Holy Knights not being, um, not being, e e well, not being evil, it's just that the other races they hate. So basically they're just a bunch of racists, racists for, ju for just racists for, for whatever, 
for reasons. Which, to be fair, this time it's more because of the war or anything, but that's besides the point. As Armas says, a boy with light green hair, like the wings of a bird. And then Armas like, and they're strapped to your back, the dragon relief. I mean, it's supposed to be right, like it just says F for some reason. The one Ayasan said was taken from him. You must be the one, one of the four knights of the apocalypse. As he puts the relic back in, and then we're supposed to be like, you did that to him. Refer to Dolce Monte. Which, something I do kind of find funny is the fact that we are 35 chapters into the story and we still have not met, encountered the other three Four Nights of the Apocalypse, or at least if there's no final plot twist, how Donnie and Nauseon saw the Four Nights of the Apocalypse stuff. Which I'm guessing is not gonna be the case, but still, it's kind of funny how we still haven't like encountered f the, the three of them. I mean, even as I said since, like, at least say what you want about how long it took Mela and Asuka to come to the story, but at least in Volume 2, we already had three of them together. So it's kind of funny how in Fortnite of the Apocalypse, we are gonna have like, we are, I might not believe in Volume 4, I believe, or maybe 5, I'm not taking sure. And yet we still haven't like, even like, encountered any of them. I mean, I know we've seen Tristan and Lancelot in a side chapter, or bonus chapter, whatever those were. But still, it's kind of funny how we haven't encountered them. And then we have uh, Artback responding to person be like, what? As uh, the person was like, Dolce Monte is my friend, all the others are good people. As Artback is like, a demon is your friend, a demon is a good people. I'm guessing it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be said good, a good person, or demons are supposed to be a good, pe are, are good people. As then we have Outback immediately and Percival immediately clash. As then one, someone's like Percival, and then we see a uh, Outback with his uh, sta uh, chaos relic slamming at Percival, and I guess it's because Percival was on the ground. That is the reason why Percival was like one of. Uh, Knee on the ground, as he as Adver's like the prophecy was right, my boy. You truly will destroy the world, associating with the demon clan, you wicked child. <laughs> we know. Kind of funny how Adver talks like a priest, priest here as well as he seems to like have more like a priest like a uh, knight outfit. Are you going that holy part of the holy knight thing? We still have an idea that the holy knights are being called holy, even though most of them are just are regular knights. So yeah, then we get a close-up of Outback's face, which for what it seems to be here, it does seem to be accurate. Like the face was true. It was just that he put armor on. As like in that's like weird axe shape, which I wonder if it's supposed to reference something. And then we have Outback saying, for the ideal world after my lord lord. For seas and for those who fail to survive, I'm going to see you to your death. Ah, so ideal world type of thing. Oh my god, we are. Per oh my god. Oh, we're going with. Oh, so is gonna be on those villains. So then we have. I'm be like, Art, oh, wait, Percival, that child's a value companion to us. I guess I'm trying to reason with him. And then, uh, 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 then Art hears it, and he responds to it, be like, Please just suddenly leave this area. And now uh, says, This is none of your business. And then Anne says, No, I won't be quiet, I won't leave. <laughs> and then we have uh, Nazi say, Art, you have your say, and we have ours as well. And then we have, uh, uh, I guess, um, Nazi explaining. Or imagine how he was in introduced with, he said, Your fellow knight was torturing us all and Percival saved us. He's a hero. As then uh, Art takes a note of it. I guess, uh, they don't say telescope, but that's who they mean, basically. And it sounds like it's sure sh what uh, Art thinks right now. He's just like, he's like, wait, what? So again, it seems like Art's a good, It's again, it seems like Art is just 
decades the demon clan from what it appears to be and it's kind of fully devoted to uh, Arthur and then we have a person be like give me that crystal bring everyone back here as Arthur like quiet you come on Kelly that is Sir Noon's nose as we see that dog coming here and we see him like giant like before he was in the last time he's only pretty big but here he's like a giant titan with like these super long horns who like get a little um who get kind of like it's like they are long but they also have like all horns on top of it to make it even longer and he's also seems to have like move a bit of a move like a flaming pad on the fur as I was like, dispatch that prophesized knight at once! End of chapter. So, yeah, this chapter was that. Also, say I should. This chapter was a lot more like action packed, a lot more like we are progressing here. And now we end this chapter with a dog. This giant dog coming in to fight Percival in art. So, yeah. Now, something I'm a bit curious about is how exactly do Arthur's Holy Knights break down in ranks? Because Talisker here was obliterated by Percival as soon as he unlocked his magic. I didn't go against Percival, Percival with magic, so you could say it would be a similar result. In fact, the fact that he summoned a familiar might be a similar case. Similar to how uh, Alaska was using that other being, but I'm not sure of it. I feel like I want to say that Percival got a lot str stronger, even Rabal magic, but I feel I am not exactly sure yet. So I'm not being curious of if, let's say, if the theory about uh, the art bag and some other holy knights being death pieces holy knights. I do wonder if there are like two kind of groups of it. There are Arthur's Holy Knights who are basically his round table, and then there are Death Beast's Holy Knights who are just working for Arthur and consider that him their lord. So I could see something like that be the case. And the ones who are specifically Arthur's Holy, like the ones who he chose, all of them could like defeat Percival right now, while the rest can like. Fight him a bit, but in a long term battle, 1v1, they would lose to him. So, yeah. Now, another thing I should talk about is the Elder, who seems to have like also vanished into the crystal, which means that he's also a demon. And also something some people were asking of is if the Elder is the Demon King because of how similar their appearance are. Now, that might be possible that he's like a fragment of the Demon King, but I feel like it's more likely just a design that uh, M M Nakaba liked and he decided to just reuse it or slightly alter it for this character which I feel like it's more likely but anyways that's it for this chapter I hope you, you like this reaction I hope you leave a like tell me in the comments below what you think of this chapter and all in all, all, all uh, I hope you have a great day and I said, I cannot wait to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.